Howdy folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a system image of your entire system drive uh, in Windows 10 and uh, system restore disk as well which helps you uh, access that system image and apply it should you need to restore. So let's start by clicking on the start button and just type in the word backup and you should see backup settings as an option and you want to click there. Okay. Now, uh, there's file history, which is a whole different subject, uh, but we want a full system image of not just your files, but your software, your preferences, everything, your, all your, your Windows, your full Windows installation with other software. So we're going to click on More Options, okay? And then we're going to click on See Advanced Settings, okay? And we're going to wait for a little bit to come on here. So when this window is fully loaded down in the lower left-hand corner, you can click on System Image Backup. And then on the left, we can click on Create a System Image. So as you see, it's not a very direct path to get here, but we're finally here. So let's click on Create a System Image. And first thing it's going to do is look for a backup drive. Okay, so, uh, and what that, that essentially means is you've got your, your system, generally drive C, right? And you don't want to dr back up drive C to drive C, it's a bit counterintuitive, right? So you need a, some kind of external drive. Uh, it's not the only option, but you want some external area that you can uh, create the backup on. If you don't have an external drive, uh, it will default to one or more DVDs if you have a DVD burner. Uh, otherwise, the next option uh, is on a network location. Uh, most home users won't have a network location to uh, consider. So uh, the, the, the best general solution, fastest, keep everything in one place, not splitting it across DVDs. If you don't already have one, uh, you know, run to your local uh, computer depot kind of place and get yourself uh, generally around a hundred dollars, at least in my area, uh, you can get like a, a two or four gigabyte, sorry, terabyte uh, hard drive, which in most cases would be plenty of room uh, for a, a standard backup like this, right? So uh, it, it has found, in this case, my backup drive, 60, about 60 gig, and I'm going to click on Next. Okay, so now it wants to confirm the settings. I do want to create the uh, system image on the backup drive, and it's telling me what will be backed up, and that is the obvious system, Im system drive, which is drive C, and then there's a Windows recovery environment. Uh, I suppose that's a, um, a partition they're using for recovery. So let's go ahead and start the backup. Okay, so here we have a uh, window basically giving us progress. Windows is saving the backup and naturally this will take a bit of time so I will pause the video and resume when we're further along. Okay so once the backup completed I get this prompt here that says do you want to create a system repair disk? And of course, this is a really good idea because that is the disk that you will probably need to apply the system image back to your computer if your Windows 10 won't start or is so um, messed up that it, it won't run in a stable manner, right? So let's go ahead and click yes to that. And it's prompting for the drive to use. So let me just put a DVD into that drive. And we will hit create disk. Now 
So not only can this system uh, repair disk be used to reapply your system image to your computer should you need to, but it'll have other useful uh, repair uh, utilities. And for example, uh, aside from startup repair and some automated wizard type things like that, uh, it will have a command environment. So you can go into a command prompt and run certain commands uh, that may help uh, you know, fix whatever is ailing you, right? So it's it's always a good idea to have a system repair disk on hand, um, just in case it's needed. Again, this is going to take a bit of time, so I'm going to pause recording. So now the uh, system restore disk has been created successfully or system repair disk, and uh, it has actually opened itself in a window here on drive D to show the uh, the boot folder, etc. cetera. Um, so that can simply be closed because there's nothing to do, uh, nothing you can do with it at this point. It's something you would need to boot up off of uh, in order to make it useful. So, and in terms of booting from a DVD, um, Ideally, when you start your computer, there will be a prompt. Often it's uh, to press F12, but um, uh, that can vary. It might be F8 uh, on some systems. I've seen F8 as well uh, as what you would press to bring up a boot menu, and then you could choose to boot from your DVD device, right? And at the end of the uh, build here, you get this message about using the system repair disk it tells you that a bit that you can do with it and it reminds you to label it which is always a great idea and um, best to use one of those dvd markers right um, that way uh, acids from the marker won't eat into the data and make it unusable so we can go ahead and close that prompt there and we can click ok to our complete uh, message there and then the backup that completed successfully we can close that message and we can just jump out of all of these things and just to take a peek at uh, what we've accomplished here just pull this over a bit we have on drive B now a folder that says Windows image backup right and inside of there is the actual backup and you can see when I double click on it it's a protected folder. It doesn't uh, want you to just be leaping in there. There's nothing in there to browse uh, and view in terms of you won't see your files. They're all going to be in, in sort of compressed archives, that kind of thing. So um, basically, stay out of there so you don't cause any trouble. We'll just hit cancel. And of course, the other thing we did was create the repair disk. And uh, there's that familiar uh, few folders and files that we saw when the, the building of that was complete. So now you have everything that you need to restore your computer completely, your system drive anyway, uh, to the point when the backup was made. And um, hopefully you never actually have to do that. But thanks for watching and take care. Please subscribe.